Hello guys, welcome to practice test training. In this session, we will learn about issue management in practice test. So issue management module of practice test is similar to what a bug tracking tool like Bugzilla or other uh, Redmine tools that are available will do for you. So whenever you are doing your test execution your test case might either pass or fail if your test case is failed then you log a defect against that particular test case in order to log a defect you need some defect tracking tool which is like bugzilla or redmine now when you're using practice test that defect tracking feature is all available within practice test so you can use the issues tab at the top in the practice test to manage all the issues and defects for your test test runs so i'll give you a quick introduction of the layout of the issues and how you can raise new issues edit and what are the features available for the issue management in practice test so in order to raise a new de new defect or new bug you just click on this new issue um, button here and then it will open a issue template or a defect template that is highly customizable so I'll cover up um, the customization of issue or defect template in further sessions so you can just provide your issue title let's say defect just a uh, temporary um, so defect one and then just provide the description select the priority how what, what's the priority of the defect whether it's high or it's showstopper and then uh, what's the type whether it's a defect or enhancement or task select the component where exactly you found this defect in which component this defect has been found so for example you are you were testing the browser or web client select the web client on which operating system um, you, you found this issue so all these values in the drop downs that you see is customizable so it's not that that just these three operating system is available you can add a number of uh, values there so all these uh, settings will be explained in further sessions when I'll be covering the detailed modules around you know, like customization of practice test then you can select the browser the test environment let's say um, customer and then any of the testing project and what testing phase you found that defect so if you have you know like any attachments which definitely you would be having most of the times either you'll have a, a screenshot or you'll have the logs whenever you are raising a defect you just choose the file and attach that defect uh, uh, attach that logs or uh, screenshot once you are done with everything um, then you can either directly assign it to the developer or if it is a you know, like a big team and you have a process to follow then assign it to the to the development lead and then or development manager and then he'll manage the defects internally within the development team whom to assign for the fixes so as of now I'll just uh, assign it to Julie um, and then click on save changes All right so if you go to the issues again um, you will see the defect that I created has been um, created and it's in the status new and assigned to Julie so that's about uh, how you create a new defect now I'll go into the details of other features that are available on the defect management uh, screen so you can have the filters so ideally filtering is very important whenever you have you know, like um, hundreds of defects to look after so practice test provides good filtering capabilities you can filter based on ID or title or status which is a must kind of thing whenever you are doing a defect triage you would like to see how many new issues have been raised um, when they have been raised and then 
to to have a view of the defects so that you can go ahead and do the defect triage with the key stakeholders of the project um, then you can also filter based on the assignee say for example how many issues have been assigned to Julie and what's the status of those defects um, you can have a look um, whether how many new issues she is still working on so all those details you can filter out using the filtering capabilities of practice test the other good feature is you can select multiple um, issues and then you can print the issue details so it will you know like print a PDF report with all the details of the defect so it will show you the description and the history and everything all the details of the defects which can also be taken for the defect triage meeting um, the other feature is around the batch edit so you can select multiple test cases together um, so for example I want to edit the status of these four defects to in progress so I'll just select all of those check this box the status checkbox and then change it to open and then update all right, so all the four issues at the top have been changed the status has been changed to open the next feature is around the pagination so by default you can choose you know like 10 20 or 100 and the issues will be listed accordingly right. so that is pretty much about the features of issue management features within practice so if you don't want to utilize the issue management feature of practice test practice test provides very easy integration capabilities with other issue management tools like Buxilla, Redmine, Jira so if you're already using those tools then and you want to keep continue using the, the tools that you are using for the defect management you can do the integration um, with practice test and as soon as you will raise a defect within uh, in those tools that will be synced back in practice test and you will be able to see the ID um, correlation of that issue within practice test so in, in future so that's pretty much about the issue management feature of practice test in future sessions we'll learn more about the uh, customization of various fields in the issue management or defect management template uh, and other other details around the issue management thank you